like what we got. Seems perfect. But at what cost? Oh, don't worry. I won't let your sacrifice go to waste. You have my word on that. Whatever. I'm going back to Violet Eden before something else happens to me. your beads it's about time that took you two forever surely you weren't playing around the whole time were you i was toying with that counts Ugh. well whatever just hand over the goods sure thing here so how's it going i just finished up the pattern paper and we're making some last minute adjustments before we start cutting yes so give us a second Ooh, fun how's this Perfect. It's exactly the spec. Oh, hey, are you two done? We are. Have a look. Amazing! It's me! Wow. Looks like all the trouble I went to for those supplies actually paid off. Of course. It was made for my designs, after all. And my handiwork. And it only exists in the first place because of how gosh darn adorable I am. Until you open your mouth. And please, keep up the good work on the rest of them! What? What are you talking about? Isn't it obvious? We're going into mass production so we can get ever closer to the grand opening of Pink Paradise! You really are an idiot! Yeah? I told you right from the start that I would make one as a change of pace. One! But why? Look at how cute he is! How can you say no to that face? Easily. It's well made, but it'll never sell. It looks way too much like a perverted pink puff for anyone to buy it. Yeah, that's so mean. Don't worry, Pinkoon. I think you're cute. When you keep your mouth shut. You're both mean. We absolutely can sell this! I believe in the power of my own cuteness! Well, if you think it has a chance, how about we put this one up for auction? Good way to judge its market potential, which I'm assuming will be nil with zero bidders. People will too bid on it. I'll fetch so much money we'll be able to buy oceanfront property afterward. <laughs> I don't care about the money. Here, Saki, you hold on to this. Uh, uh huh? You're giving it to me? You're this pervy pink puff's guardian, so it seems only right that you should hang on to its stuffed little twin. Thank you. I'll take very good care of it. Isn't this great, Pinkoot? Now there are two of us. I'll be the best big brother in the world and show him lots and lots of brotherly love. Weren't you just trying to sell your beloved little brother like five seconds ago? Yeah. Asahi, what's up with that girl over there? She seems pretty distraught, yeah. Wonder what's wrong. I'm gonna go check. What? Hey, wait a sec! 
Excuse me. Is something wrong? <laughs> it's all right. She's cool, honest. A little nosy, but that's nothing to get freaked out over. Probably. Uh, Asahi? <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll be okay. There, there. If you're in trouble, I want to help. <laughs> really? Okay. Earlier some guy was trying to... to hit on me. Uh-oh. Was he creepy? Yeah. He was so... aggressive. It really freaked me out. Say no more. Some dude threatening a sweet-seeming girl like you is something I cannot sit back and tolerate. Honestly, I'd heard stories, but I didn't think that sort of thing really happened all that much in Akihabara. It really doesn't, usually. But lately, I guess incidences have been on the rise a little. Female otaku in particular are targeted a lot, usually by scummy guys pulling the old photoshoot scam. They think nerdy girls are too shy or weak-willed to say no, so they single them out and accost them on the street. What? That's the lowest of low! Excuse me, miss. Where was it that this guy tried to hit on you? Um, well, it was on Main Street, just as I was leaving Animart. Got it. Wait, you're not actually thinking of... Come, Asahi! We're going to teach that guy a lesson, then boot him out of Akihabara so he can think about what he did. Come, Asahi? Am I your manservant now? Seriously, wait up! Don't see any sleaze buckets around, at least at a glance. We have to look harder. He may be hiding in the shadows, waiting to pounce. Let's ask around. Maybe somebody's seen him. It's a collectible shop. Why not buy a ton of cards while we're here? Sure, I guess. What is it? Have you seen a super aggressive flirty guy around here? Oh, yes! He was trying to get all of in my business. Uh, come again? It was a total pain. He was hella persistent, even though I told him I'm not interested in guys. Did you see where he went? I don't know. He just left. And I was like, good riddance, you duck and duck face. Autocorrect. Hmm. All right. Thanks for the tip. Good to know we're at least on the right track. Asahi, let's keep looking. As you wish. Uh, before you go... Hmm? Here, take this. What is it? It's my email address. I kind of like to get yours too, so we can hook up sometime. What? I mean, are you sure? Like, for real? Seems to me we may have found our creeper after all, and his name's Asahi. Um, not that I don't appreciate the thought, but seriously, me? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm cool with it. It's just... No, I mean, what are you talking about? It's not you I'm interested in. I want her address. Me? Um, do you mind if I drop you a line? I'd like to chat with you a little. You're just, uh, exactly my type. Maybe if we hit it off, we could go grab a bite sometime. Or something. Uh, I... what? <laughs> right. I'm not good enough for you, I get it. No, I... I mean, you... I'm sorry! Hey, wait! Using the old not interested in guys excuse and actually meaning it? Gotta say I did not see that coming. 